This is the 2012 Mini Cooper Convertible. So in 1952, the Austin Motor Group, along with the Morris Motors, they merged together to make the British Motor Corporation. The first car they wanted to design was something that was small, but also had a large interior. Whenever trying to design this car, they kept running into an issue of not having a large enough interior with the outside of the car still being too big. What they figured out was, if you turn the engine and the transmission sideways in the car, this would not only shorten the hood, but also create more interior space, as well as not having a drive shaft since the car is front wheel drive, making there more room on the floor so there's more legroom for the passengers. Once this car was sold into the public, it was wildly successful, and some thought that it should even go into the rally stage of the racing category. When people were rally racing this car, it first was not very successful, so Mini Cooper, which was eventually what the car was later named, they brought in John Cooper, who is the legend that helped create Formula Racing. And with his design of the mid-engine cars in F1, they were able to design a new car. With this, Mr. Cooper took the engine and gave it 81 horsepower, a turbocharger, as well as brakes, making it one of the fastest cars possible and being a very dominant car within the rally stages. Not only did this car gain popularity, but because it was so popular, the cars stayed the same format, getting minor updates for the next 40 years. But in 2000, the group was sold along with Rover to BMW. When BMW sold Rover to Ford, they also focused more on Mini. BMW wanted to reimagine the Mini, but stay true to the origins of the original Mini. So they designed the new gen of the Minis, which is as you can see behind me. They stayed true with the same engine, this one making 121 horsepower and 114 foot-pounds of torque. Although it is spacious inside, there is some complaints that some people have about the car. It has a really small trunk space, so there's not a lot you can carry inside. But with the convertible, you do get some nice room outside and it's a very fun day-to-day -day car. Something that you will notice about the car is that the wheels are very close to all four corners of the car, which is the same in the original Mini, that allows it to have really, really good handling. So not only are these cars good for everyday driving, but they're good for road course events, and with the front wheel drive and the engine being in the front, they're good for rally racing as well. There's lots of different variants along the way, including once a Mini truck that was made and a Mini Jeep for the English military, but the English military said that they didn't want the car because it was too small. Although BMW has redesigned the car, they stayed true to the roots of Mini Cooper, including a lot of the same features as the original Mini, including headlights that resemble the same thing, as well as taillights that resemble the same shape as the classic Mini Cooper. So some more specs about this specific Mini is that it comes with a 1.6 liter 4 cylinder engine that produces 121 horsepower and 114 pound feet of torque. Paired with this engine it comes with a 6 speed automatic transmission that comes straight from the factory that includes a sport mode as well as a traction control off switch. Some other really interesting features about these cars includes that the headlights are actually in part of the hood, so when you lift up the hood the headlights stay in place, but there's a small circle in the hood for the headlight cutout. Another interesting fact that I noticed is that the paint color was actually shown on the car on the inside, and it was really cool to see like a placard, which is something you don't see on most cars. Being that this is the Mini Cooper convertible, the convertible is actually very fast. To take it from all the way open to all the way closed only takes 19 seconds. And within that, it's only actually 15 if you'd like to leave the sunroof open, which is another feature that I'll talk about later. One of the neat features considering that this car is a convertible is this dial here called the openometer. The openometer shows you how long you've had the convertible open on your last trip. It will also reset once you close it. Also in this Mini Cooper, it stays true to the original Mini Cooper with the small gauges and the iconic round face on the clock with the speedometer. Although the Mini Cooper was designed with a larger interior, the back seats of this car are practically useless. You can't really fit a person back there comfortably, but you can put stuff like a backpack or any other luggage that you might have in the back. The trunk in these cars is actually a fairly decent size, and you can hold a bunch of regular everyday materials in here, although you won't really have any luggage. These handles in the back can make the trunk bigger so you can try to fit more in the back, but it's only available on the convertibles. So this is actually one of my favorite features of the car. If it's a really nice day outside, you can open the convertible roof part way like a sunroof, and if it's really nice, you can open open the roof all the way and just enjoy the sunny day. So the last feature that I find pretty cool about this is that the entire convertible roof is actually controlled by this one switch next to the rear view mirror.
So overall, I think the Mini Cooper is a really good car, and I also really like it as a first car because not only is it fairly inexpensive, but it's also pretty safe. The car that I used was fairly dirty and had nicks and scratches, and that was for a reason. I wanted this to be able to show that these cars can do the day-to-day -day drive that you need them, and also be fun weekend cars. The owner described this car as having a sassy driving experience, and they are actually pretty fun to drive and handle really well. This is a really well-rounded car, and if you're looking to get one, I highly recommend it. Kill Bill, mass curd that house with leaves. First, no nuts and ties blown up. Maxima, yeah. Pulp the strip, DQ for CTK. Call me Drag King, but I am modeling. A couple of privileges and I can rap. Right. Made me trying to sit in the back of class. Made a couple of dollars just the aftermath. And we're just waiting for the comeback. Be lying on the truck, call me SSC. Going so fast like a Tennessee. RP to Cherokee. Bro, to unlock like the best key. Seeing that beats won't blow up. And you know I will disagree.